We are entering an era where sneakers are no longer insanely overpriced and the time is now to get insane deals on sneakers. So today, we're gonna be buying the 10 cheapest hype sneakers in 2023 that are available because there are 10 options today that are absolutely perfect to buy and all of them are under $200 and we could not make this video two years ago because prices were crazy high. So we're gonna be scouring the city today to pick up these different shoes. I know exactly what we need. I have our list. I'm gonna knock them off the list as we go and then show you guys the best pairs that are cheap and still hype. Let's go. All right, we made it back with our 10 pairs. We haven't done this in a while. We have a lot of good new stuff here and a lot of stuff that I bought for retail at stores. You guys get for under retail, which is actually insane. So let's step up number one with a pretty cool one that we picked up at Nike Avalon store here in Atlanta. They had these couple different sizes and that is, ooh, I didn't know it had this. This is a Jordan one that comes with a Jordan bag. That's pretty nuts. Is this supposed to be like a dust bag? I don't know if, it'll, if it won shoe maybe, but that's pretty cool that that comes, I had no idea. Now, this pair right here is a pair of satin Jordan 1s. These are a women's pair that only go up to a men's 10 and a half. So unfortunately, I cannot wear these. It's more of a women's shoe. But if you remember, a couple years ago, they released these for a numbered pair and they had a royal blue one as well, which we have something similar down there. Those were like $2,500, $3,000 at one point, And now these are sitting at a Nike store for retail. And we're gonna check the price on them on the secondary market because it's even less. A women's satin Jordan one. This is gonna be in a size men's eight, which is a women's nine and a half. Right now, $142. Retail price, $180. And even after fees and everything, I think you're right at around retail which is kind of nuts. So we're gonna also be talking about in this, the state of certain shoes in this market and what is reselling and what's not. And what that we could kind of look forward to things for reselling in the future, because I think there's a, there's been a huge shift. It used to be, you could literally go buy any pair and make 50 to $100. Now you can go buy any pair and lose 50 to $100. It's wild, but it's getting back down to the prices where they were before this crazy spike, right before all the stuff happened with the pandemic. So these is a solid pair, but unfortunately I cannot wear them. Good details and it's literally for $40 under retail is crazy. Like who's selling it at that price on StockX? It's gotta be retailers who are just sitting on pairs. So that's the first one there. Not one that I can wear and would wear as much, but I'm gonna show you guys the next pair. That's my personal pair that don't read the label on the box. This is a pair that Nick can attest to. I've worn this probably every day for the past, what, six months? Never takes them off. I don't take this shoe off and it is $75 and it's sitting at the mall. We went to the Adidas store in Lenox. We took a video of the wall and on the wall, you'll see different colorways. For some reason, I, this shoe matches everything and that is an Adidas Samba. Now this is my second pair that I've had in the past six months. The other ones I wore so into the ground. These ones are getting there too with the creasing. I don't know, I really adapted to the small midsole and the colorway, it's so easy to wear that this has been my everyday shoe and will be, I'm not gonna change it up now because I actually have a lot of the new shoes, but the reason why is they're so easy to slide on and off and they're comfortable. Whereas like a lot of the new shoes that I love, like SBs, hurt my feet because the way that they are, how tight they are, these don't do that. They match with everything well, the Sambas are great. I like them better than the Gazelle. So if I'm gonna say one pair to buy of all these, they're not really gonna hold value or anything but I think you would wear them a lot. That's just me. Some of these will hold their value and we have another video coming up that's gonna be on the more expensive hype shoes that are out right now. These are all two, uh, under 200. We're gonna have some coming for over 200. So this, mm, let's not do that one. Let's go, let's go for an SB. We're gonna do this right here. So this is a good SB that's sitting a little bit under 200, right around the 200 range. So size nine of these is going for 195 right now and that is the Albino and Prito. Is that how you say it? The AP Nike SB. We've shown you guys these before. They come in this kind of bag here and they come with a ton of different laces. You literally get a whole bag full of laces. This is the Jiu Jitsu meets Skate Nike SB. These have a cutaway material so you can cut away the different panels of this and reveal underneath the colors. Now, should we poke into it? The guy who designed this designed the mummies also. So we got those on. Um, I want to cut these, but I don't because they're not my size. So I'm gonna end up selling them. So if they were my size, I would, but you can see, we'll put up a picture on the screen of the cutaway or maybe a video if another YouTuber's done it. Here's a photo, you can see it's kind of like blue up there, you have purple back there, red underneath, all cut up. I honestly like the way that they look like this better. Um, some of them cut look good, but I don't know about those. Next pair up is gonna be one with a cool box. This is going to be 
the Jordan 1, you can't tell by the gold foil here, this is the Palomino. This one is a size 10 and a half. Now, this is a good Jordan 1 because one, you can either get them at stores or a little bit under retail. These were sitting at one of our champs last week and I actually saw them. A lot of people aren't in ones anymore. Um, if you guys think about the trends of sneakers lately, it was like ones were super hot and then it switched to dunks. Now dunks are kind of out and now it's more like Adidas, Asics, and SBs. That's the reason why a lot of these ones are sitting under retail because not a lot of people are wearing them. But I still do see people wear them a lot and it, obviously it's a good silhouette and this is a good color. Black with the brown suede. If this dropped two years ago, this, this thing would fly off the shelf. Which we can say that about a lot of things. You could talk about car prices and stuff. In general, prices have gone down on a lot of stuff uh, because the economy and so that's why shoes are a direct reflection of that. You can, they're going for 185 so right around retail. So this actually is holding around retail but I think it's because it's a good colorway and the quality is good. on it. All right, we have a couple Jordan 1s so I want to keep talking about them because the prices that you can get them at. This one here, we got at another Nike store. Great colorway, especially if you live here in Atlanta. The Jordan 1 Black Toe Lows. These ones were, this was actually the last pair that they had. And I think that these gone up in price a bit. I think they're still under, retail's 140 and they're going for around 140. But the quality on these is really good. And if you, I think Jordan 1 Lows are way more in than Jordan 1 Highs because of like the Travis and stuff are a big thing. Like the Travis golf shoes are going for 700 bucks. And we're giving away a pair, so maybe we should cut to that right now. It's giveaway time on a pair of Travis Scott golf shoes. Rules for this giveaway are very simple. One, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number two, follow me at Harrison L on Instagram. Number three, leave a comment on the post that you guys see on the screen and tag two friends. It's over on my Instagram. We pick the winner on my Instagram in three weeks time. Do we make the rules you have to drive at 250? Cause that bomb was at least 275, 285 maybe. That thing was freaking hammered. Don't miss out on this giveaway. But the Jordan 1 Lowe's are, I just like the way that they wear better. I think there's a, a thing with like, how I wear pants and they're bagging, how they sit on it. You don't have this like heel, this part up here. I don't know, but this is a good colorway just because red and black is very simple, Chicago-esque colorway, but it's a black tone, the quality's good. So this is one I think if you bought it, it would hold its value and probably go up over time because more Jordan 1 Lowe's may come out. All right, we shifted around a bit. Next up is going to be, should we do this dunk? This dunk just dropped the other day and actually sold out and it's doing pretty well. Um, let's go for this right here. So this is a Nike Attack social status. He's actually dropped a while ago and they just had him out at the Nike where we were. I actually really like this silhouette and I think it's a good one. There's been a lot of um, shoes releasing like this and I think that the social status one is a good one. It's my size too. So as you can see right there, you have kind of the gray throughout, has like a vintage midsole. It's reminiscent of like, it's kind of like a Jordan 1 mid, but a little bit different obviously structure wise. But what's cool about it is everything that comes with the box too. So like, check this out. It's like a newspaper advertisement. Change your color, shop now. It comes with this for the laces, which is like a little candy thing. And the laces are just gonna be white, I believe. No, yellow, yellow laces. So this right now going for $172. And I think retail is right around, retail is 140. So actually reselling a decent bit well. And there's another colorway of them, but this is a good shoe. I like this silhouette and I've seen a lot more people wear these more than something like a Jordan 1. Let's go for this one. This one actually drops in a couple days. Might have already dropped by the time you see this. This box is crazy. That blue, I would get this shoe just to have like show it on the shelf because just keep this box because how crazy it is. So this is going to be the Jordan 1 Reimagine Royal. So we know the Jordan 3 Reimagines came out. There's been some reimagined shoes. This is the newest iteration of that. And I think that this one should do pretty good after it drops. I'm lying. It releases in a couple days and it's $10 under retail currently. I was wrong. Um, I thought maybe it would. And I guess it's it's reminiscent of that satin Jordan 1 women's. Um, this is a pretty cool pair. Actually, when I see it in person, it reminds me of like those uh, Zoom, remember those Zoom Jordan 1s that they came out with? I don't know. I could actually see why this isn't doing well. If this was satin, I think it would do better. But yeah, I don't love this for reimagine or just too like, looks like a kid's shoe. I mean, I like the colorway. I had this, the 2016 um, Royal. But what's funny is like, I think Nike is, has something to do with these prices and stuff going down because they're releasing so many shoes. But what's funny about that is that on the Nike app, they sent me all these notifications for these satin ones and they're like, don't miss out, just dropped. And then like a day later, like don't miss your chance to buy. And it's like, nobody was buying them. They sent like 20 notifications. It's like, they're not sold out. So nobody wants them. If you did a restock after they sold out, maybe, but it wasn't happening. And they didn't even come out with men's sizes, so I don't know why they would push it to me because I'm half a size bigger than their small, their biggest one. Reimagines, probably gonna flop. Already flopping, and uh, that I was wrong. So, 
let's keep moving. Next up, this is a great colorway. This is, and Dunks are kind of on the outs because they've released so many colorways. Everything looks the same, but this one, this red is pretty good, and these did sell out when they dropped them. So the Dunks are holding stronger than the ones, even with the cool retro colorways. And uh, this one right here is, they had one size 14 at one of the stores, but did not have them at any other ones. There's so many red Jordan ones, oh my gosh. Okay, so these right now are like 115, right around. You could probably go find these at uh, the right mall. If you look like our one of our local malls has a bunch of stuff like this these are pretty good uh if you're an atlanta native this is a good colorway to have but um dunks are kind of on the outs i would i would much rather have these than these do you agree nick you rather have these than these yeah actually yeah these are good i like one lows are just they're great right now last but not least is a pair that we showed not too long ago that is uh, a pretty decent one is a jordan one atmosphere these are sitting at a couple stores, not too many, but a couple. A little bit of a vintage midsole. You're getting that Jordan 1 low, but they, they're cut a little bit different than these. Some of the Jordan 1 lows are, are different kind of cuts. This one is a bit different. I think the quality, they're pretty good on both. But this is a good colorway if you like that neutral colors. There's also the Chris Paul ones that just came out. We couldn't even find those because they sold out. But this is very similar to that. This is like super similar to the Chris Paul. It's just not a collaboration. And you can get these for under retail as well. So the last pair up is probably gonna be one of the best pairs in terms of resale, holding its value that's come out recently. This is going to be a Nike SB High. And that's gonna be the Supreme Nike SB High. The Supreme Ramelzi is the newest kind of Supreme SBs that's come out. They have these in the lows. But a lot of people like these highs better than the lows. And I actually keep these as a personal because they're a size 11 and a half my size. And this is a really good pair because one, a lot of people don't like dunk highs compared to lows, especially for SBs. But this is a really cool pattern, everything on here. And these right now are $200 and under, which is pretty insane. These I think will hold its value and probably go up over time. I think that these will go up in a few years. These will be worth some good money because this is a really good shoe. This is probably the final one that I'd say, if you're gonna buy any to like get and wear and then hold value, I'd say these probably would be one of them out of all of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison, signing out.